Woo, that is really hot down in there. That's fantastic. Man, it smells really good too. And sign up for a dump truck load of free mulch. Day three of having the chickens in the pen, in the corner, and it looks like it's not working. We have a greeter here. All the chickens got out except for the two that don't get along with the other one. So they're all here with me on the other side of the fence. We are not collecting silky eggs at this time. We are either incubating eggs or giving them back to the mama hen so they can hatch us some little silky babies like Adidas. Fluffy Adidas. You're gonna wear it. You're gonna wear it. Oh! Oh! He doesn't like that. Like, uh, no, uh, 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 it's coming to your rib. Maybe not. Aww. At least he didn't wash his bucket away. Completely. <laughs> wow, that's how dry it is out here. Yep. Come on. I'm gonna eat. smells really good too. Good evening folks. As you can see I'm admiring uh, our chip drop. Uh, Kristen found an awesome secret online uh, to where you can go to, uh, to a website and sign up for a dump truck load of free mulch. Uh, so I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you can click on that, sign up for your chip drop, and then uh, once they drop it, if you want more, you go back onto the website and sign up for a second chip drop uh, if that's what you need. Uh, but once again, it's free. So how can you complain about free? Beats the heck out of having to, you know, go to your local um, mill and uh, get a, you know, truck bed full of mulch, which you have to pay for, or tractor supply and buy pine shavings, which we were also doing. So it's just a really cool uh, secret, like I said, that Kristen found. and. Uh, uh, I call it a blessing as well. Um, we can, I mean, you can be used for so many different things. Uh, we're going to use it for deep bedding for our chickens. Uh, it's getting to be uh, winter time. Obviously, you want bedding anyway, whether it's winter or not. But we're going to be able to put, uh, get it nice and thick in there <clears throat> for them, so they have a good area. Um, and then uh, we're also going to be getting pigs in the very near future, uh, so we'll be able to use it for the uh, the pig area uh, and their deep bedding, uh, and then. Something I'm actually doing right now is I'm taking it and shoveling uh, a bunch of it in between our raised beds. Uh, so something we did, uh, it's um, uh, you can take 
we got uh, cardboard, but you can also use the uh, the bags uh, that you get your animal feed from. Uh, so we took a lot of the paper bags. We got the paper bags uh, that uh, that we get our animal feed in. Saved a bunch of those, um, and then just repurposed them. And then, like I said, we also put cardboard uh, throughout. So filled in all the walkways with the cardboard and the bags, and then we're going to cover all that with mulch. Uh, like I said, it's a great weed barrier, and it just gives us a free spot, a free space to be able to walk in between the beds. Um, so we're not, you know, having to continue to weed all the time and uh, clean up. Don't get me wrong, you still have to weed, uh, but this just, it helps uh, prevent some of them. So just a really, really neat opportunity. Once again, like I said, free mulch. The link is in the description below. Get you a pitchfork or some kind of fork, whatever it is. Get it. It makes a big difference when you're trying to dig all this stuff up. It's a lot easier than a shovel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and secrets.